Hi, how are you? In today's video, I am going to be talking to you about a recent vet trip we had to take. So stay tuned. So we had to take Marshmallow to the vet today. Um, we had, there's some flies in here, I apologize. Well, it might be a mosquito, I'm not sure. Um, we had to take Marshmallow to the vet because I noticed um, Saturday, this Wednesday when I'm filming this, that he was making a horrific honking noise, which I will cut to here. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't doing this all the time he was only doing it um first thing when he woke up really and i noticed it first after he had been sleeping in the litter box with his head tucked underneath him like a total fluffy egg um and so i don't know if this was a result of him deciding to sleep in the litter box and breathing in the pee fumes too much or what exactly. But it also seemed to coincide with moving into my new office or my old office, depending on all that. Um, and so I watched him for a day or two and it didn't get any worse, really. He wasn't doing this noise more, um, but it was getting louder when he did do it. So I decided to take him into the vet today my vet um, that sees our rats is in on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and then do surgeries on Thursday, I think. Um, I think that's right. So we went in today because this is the day that she's there like all day. And that allowed us to get all of our schoolwork done and then take the rats to the vet. And I decided to take everybody. Um, she has never charged me extra for checking the other rats out when one of them's sick. So I thought it was worthwhile to have them all check just to make sure there wasn't some sort of breathing issue that I'm not trained to hear. Um, I do have surgical grade stethoscope, I guess is what it's called. I don't know, my grandmother was a nurse and I got it from her. Um, and it's a, a real stethoscope, not a pretend one. And so I listened to all of them and didn't hear anything, but I'm not trained to hear anything either. So. I felt better just bringing them all in and having the vet look them over and make sure. Uh -huh. Take that, Ian. Look at that. Very confused about being in the little carry bag. Hopefully, they will calm down once the car starts moving. Uh -huh. It was pretty funny. Sprinkles was highly offended. He has never bitten, he's never been aggressive, but when I got them back, so I guess I need to back up a little bit. So we get to the vet's office, it's about a 45 minute drive if the traffic is good. Um, it can be longer if there's more traffic, which thankfully there wasn't. And we check in at the desk and then wait for a few minutes, they prepare a room and we go to a room. And then the assistant comes out and asks questions, takes the rats into the back and the vet checks them back there. Um, and so when they came back in, Sprinkles was so offended. It was pretty hilarious. He was fluffy. He was so upset. Um, like I said, he's never ever bitten. He just, he puffs up when he's upset about things. And so um, he was quite puffy and really mad that I even brought them. I had to pick him up and cuddle him for a few minutes. And then he was like, oh, it's okay. Okay. And then he was fine. Um, you can see in some of these clips that I'm going to show you that Marshmallow was not feeling well. His eyes were definitely squinty. And unlike the other boys who were like, what's going on? Why are we here? What's happening? Trying to bust out of the carry bag. He just kind of laid there and slept through the whole thing. Um, he is one of those rats, I'm not really sure 
if this no was way. just him not feeling well, if it was a stress response, or what exactly. Um, <coughs> since I can't ask him, he can't tell me. It could very well be either situation. But nonetheless, the vet checked him out, and of course, they didn't sound weird at all. Thankfully, I had that video, so I showed that, and she was like, oh yeah, that's definitely a honk. We need to get him on some meds. So um, she told me how much to give him, and so I'm dosing him. I'm not supposed to dose anybody else. I am going to call her back at the end of the 10 days and let her know how long, how he's doing. Um, I'm hoping that we caught it early enough that he won't need meds for longer because all of my previous rats, when they'd get sick, they were a lot worse than this, first of all, but it would take like three weeks of meds to make them better. So I'm hoping since we caught it early that 10 days will be enough and he'll be fine um, since it seems to just be in his nasal passages, I guess, um, since his lungs are clear anyway. So that's been our adventure today. So yeah, thanks for watching. Sweetie. He's actually sitting on a perch over here, staring at me with glaring eyes because he wants to come out and play. He's mad that I took him to the vet and I didn't get him out to play afterwards. Um, <laughs> If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And that's just super helpful because it helps YouTube to know that you like my videos and makes me more likely to hit the algorithm. Um, if you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. Cool with that. But I would like to know why. So please put that in the comments below. It helps me to know if my video was helpful for you, if it was interesting, um, if there's something that maybe I did wrong that I should change. Um, you know, just that kind of stuff. I like getting feedback from my viewers. It's really great. Um, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe. And then if you want to be notified, hit the notifications bell and YouTube will tell you when I post new videos and how frequently, depending on which option you choose. And don't forget to do that so that you know when I post about the miscellaneous mischief that we get up to with our rats and homeschooling. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, now he's not glaring. He thinks I'm gonna get him out. It's not playtime, you chunk boy. You need some exercise. There she the glare. That's one way I can tell he doesn't feel good is those little squinty eyes. He should not be that squinty. Although now he's fine. It's just when he's really still, he squints just a little bit. And you can also kind of tell right here. No, turn your head this way. Right where the whiskers stop, his face gets kind of just like sucked in a teeny bit. That can be a pain response, but I found my rats do that in the squinty eyes when they don't feel good. There they are. Poor baby. The medicines will help you feel better. Yes, they will. Poor sweet boy. The viewers love you because you're so cute. Don't worry. He's like, I'm not worried.